Hello, I'm Vivette. Today I present you a new video about the PlayStation Portable. This time I'm presenting you an update for the ME and LME custom firmware. As you can see, currently I'm running the LME custom firmware, which is running on version 6.20, so it's a permanent patch custom firmware. As you can see, I reboot the device. It takes a bit longer to reboot, but the custom firmware will launch on its own. I don't have to manually launch it. Updating this custom firmware is pretty easy. If you are using a permanent patch, run the permanent patch installer once again and uninstall the permanent patch. As you can see, it's uninstalling the permanent patch and it's reinstalling the non-permanent files. If you did this, you can now update the custom firmware. I'm now updating the version 2.2 to 2.3. If you're running 10.2 you can update it to 10.3. That's pretty much the new update. As you can see the installer is now launching. It will not say please uninstall the permanent patch like it will do if you have the permanent patch installed and try to update the firmware. Okay, the new changes are the DAX or DAX format is now supported. So if you have a game, a PSP game, you can have it in the ISO, CSO or DAX format. Then you can now use extra memory for PSP games. Previously this was only available for homebrews. So this should make some games smoother and have less loading times. Then of course bug fix. And the last big feature is with the ME and LME custom firmware you're now able to use the Pro Online feature. This is currently in beta, so if it's if there are still bugs, we're going to fix it. But this should work, so regardless of you're now using me, LME or Pro, you should be able to use the the Pro Online feature, which is pretty much similar to Hamachi, X Link Kai and other features which lets you play ad hoc games via the internet. So pretty much a game which only works in local multiplayer can now be played with online multiplayer with other people that are also using the servers. In the end I'm reinstalling the permanent patch because I like to have a permanent custom firmware on my PSP 3000 and that's pretty much it's pretty easy to install it shouldn't break like the installer is safe and as you can see I'm running version 6.20 LME 2.3 uh, wrong button but yeah you can also have the PSP Go clock on your PSP 3000 if you use a plugin which is pretty nice so yeah New features are, if you are in the recovery menu, you can now change the VSH menu color from within the recovery menu. So you don't have to use it in the VSH menu only, you can now also change it from the recovery menu. Similar like you can change the recovery menu color, you can now change it for the VSH menu too. And the other new feature is under um, advanced options, advanced and the extra memory which is pretty much that you have more RAM for PSP games opposed to the only 32 MB of RAM which usually the games only have because I have to run on a PSP 1002 and the PSP 1000 has only 32 MB of RAM so games that require 64 MB are not available as you can see once again in English, advanced advanced config unlock extra memory. So this will unlock extra memory on a PSP 2000, 3000, E1000 and go. Not on a 1000 and the VSH menu back color options also in, the, in here. That's pretty much the new features. Um, converters for the DAX format are available online. So yeah, 